out on top in Saturday night's final game of the regular season, defeating Merrimack 5-2. After scoring the first goal, Merrimack took the lead in the first period, but that all changed in the second when Brett Pesci started a barrage of New Hampshire goals, followed immediately after by Dalton Spielman for his second of the series, and a third by Nick Sorkin to the end of the period. In the third period, Merrimack scored again, followed by a goal by Kevin Gumis, and then the fifth scored again by Nick Sorkin. Obviously, they were taking taking it to us uh, early in the game, but I thought the guys in the middle of the second period turned it around and battled back and uh, made a game of it. But we were getting outshot and outplayed the first half. I don't know if those numbers were right, but it was like 33. Yeah, I don't know if they were right. I mean, you know what? They, they were shooting. Like, I mean, they had, hey, they had some good chances down low there, and um, i got to give them credit. The first period, they outplayed us and got some penalties. They had a lot of shots on uh, power play. And, but the guys stayed with it and battled back. How confident were you halfway through? I mean, but you know what? You know when we uh, in the middle of the game, uh, I think we started to get some an awful lot of confidence. We started to turn the puck over and, and doing a good job getting out of the zone because we were getting hemmed in the first half. How huge was it to get those three goals in that second period? Well, that was huge. I mean, I doubt and Spielman's goal was a, a great goal, so that was a huge goal for us. Uh, you know, the back to back that was quick. And then to get one last minute too. Yeah, that. Was, oh. so. Those are always nice. A one-goal lead is not easy in this league, for sure. Uh, you know, I think coming into the second period, the coach made an adjustment. We, uh, you know, we changed our forecheck and stuff, and then, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, kind of a little more of a trap and uh, not some more jumping them and, you know, giving them chances to get back on us. But um, and they did a great job blocking shots, but we were able to, you know, find the seams and uh, get some shots past them. Well, getting one, obviously, and then getting one seven seconds later. I mean, that's had to be a huge lift. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they, they got a goal, you know, on that power play, I think, and, uh, you know, kind of took the momentum away from a little bit. But, uh, you know, we had a four and four, and we got a, we got a goal to go up uh, two two goals. So that was a big adjustment. We took the uh, momentum right back as from well as that. And then, uh, again, you know, the other one to go up three. Kevin, a really physical team there, Mac, was. What do you think about the way that they played this weekend? Yeah, I thought they played well. I mean, they definitely better than their record shows. They're a hard physical team, and uh, you know, coming on this small rink here, it definitely um, it's hard to play here. I mean, I wouldn't want to come back here for playoffs, but uh, you know, um, they, they played well. They didn't give you guys a whole lot of space. No, they're uh, no, absolutely. I mean, they're a bunch of big guys, and uh, they're like I said, a lot of physical and uh, you know, blocking shots, and you know, they're pretty tough to play against. So you just got to stay positive, stay with it, and uh, you know, sometimes things aren't looking very well, but you got to stay with it. And I, you know, the leadership of the team, uh, the guys stayed with it and battled back. With this win, New Hampshire and Merrimack both split the series one to one to finish out the regular season. I'm Heather Ross for UNH Wildcat Productions.